हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब डिसोनेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट बालास्ट वाटर कन्वेंशन व्हाई द बालास्ट वाटर कन्वेंशन कम्स एंड व्हाट इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ इनवेसिस स्पीशीज विल सी हाउ इट अफेक्ट द एनवायरनमेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट विल सी दैट व्हाट आर द कंडीशन वेयर बालास्ट वाटर कन्वेंशन डज नॉट अप्लाई so let's begin the today video of the balash water management system part 1 the first questions come to our mind is that what is a balash water why do we need balash water so basically what we do that at the port where we are discharging after discharging the cargo the ship tend to move up in order to have stability of the ship we have to take balash water while we are taking balash water at that time the species or microorganism present in the water also came with that after that the ship move and will carry the voyage and after in the loading port when it will lead the loading port at that time while carrying the loading the cargo it have to take out the balash so that it can take the cargo while the balash which has been taken in the discharging port is taken given out from the in the loading port so the suppose this discharging has occurred in brazil now this loading is occurring in france so the water which has been taken in the brazil is having some microorganism which may become invasive to the france marine environment and for that reason it may affect that area so basically what is happening in the discharging cargo we are taking ballast after completing the voyage we are discharging the ballast the organism is mainly been transferred from one point to the other point and this led to the transfer of also species which may became invasive to the environment of the host to prevent that the ballast water convention came so basically through this imo diagram we can see 10 billion tons of ballast water is transported per year which is equal to 4 million of olympic size pool and one new invasion every 9 week take place and you should also see that 80% of the world trade is carried by sea and 2.4 billion people live around 100 km of the coast so the species or marine environment is very very important and for that reason we need balash water convention so these are the cases which have been seen in recent year because of which the convention was speeded up and needed so as you can see the north american com jelly has traveled in sea ballast from eastern seaboard of the america to black azov and caspian sea it depletes zoo plankton stock altering food wave and ecosystem function so as you can see the jelly com jelly from america after being transferred to caspian sea it became invasive so what is happening suppose the this is a american port and this is discharge loading is the caspian sea so the species which is non invasive in the american environment marine environment became invasive in the caspian sea environment so basically the thing is that as you know the ecological environment is varying all through the world because of varying temperature and sometime the organism which are non invasive in a particular environment became invasive in the other 
host environment to prevent that this ballast water convention was needed same way the zebra mussels has been transported from black sea to western and northern europe including ireland and baltic sea and the eastern half of the northern america okay so basically what through this series of example i want to tell you the base is that that this is a very serious condition the transfer of invasive species are very serious condition and hence the ballast water was needed now in this graph to this graph i want to tell you that during the 1970s and 1980s we mainly focused on the oil pollution incident or bulk carrier incident and we were trying to reduce this by bringing new new convention like marpole solas and all that but the other problem which was rising very rapidly was the aquatic bio invasion which came to our limelight in 1980s so first i will show you through to this snake diagram that what is the how this convention came to day, up to date so basically in 1897 it was found out that microbes have transferred from one place to other depending upon the ship voyage and it was also found out by the scientists that it it is also invasive in nature after that in 1972 the un conference has raised the issue that we need something but the main thing was been raised in 1980s by canada and australia which has suffered serious ecosystem depletion means coral depletion because of the invasion of a species so after the this country having severe problem reported and at that time the unclos convention stressed to prevent reduce and control pollution of the marine environment from any source and hence the imo created marine environment protection committee so as you can see the main thing which is started was from 1980s and but we it was known to us that invasion is occurring but as it was not so alarming it was not been taken care because at that time lots of pollution incident was happening so the focus was on that area to now upper creating of 1990s mepc then agenda 21 take place where call on nation to consider regulation of ballast water discharge to prevent the spread of non indigenous organism and advo- advocate on precautionary and pollutory pay principle with the rio declaration sufficient changes were brought to the sura 74 so through agenda 21 that is rio declaration we have made amendment in solas but the separate convention was not feel needed again in 1991 1993 and 1997 again several guideline was adopted by the imo but in 2004 in 2004 ballast water convention was ultimately formulated and after that it was taken 13 years to get it ratified and enter into the force so in 2017 it get entered into force and it was told that all the ship which has been built after 8 september 2017 need to be comply with the d2 standard and it was told that all the ship irrespective of their construction need to comply with the 2000 by 2024 with the ballast water convention so this is how the convention came into existence but there is some expectation or you can say there is some exception is there regarding the ballast water convention means ballast water convention does not apply to permanent ballast water in the sealed tank on ship that is not subjected to 
discharge okay means cemented tank ship not designed or constructed to carry ballast water means ship which not carrying ballast water will not discharge ballast water so is not needed ship of a party which only operate under the jurisdiction of that party means basically the ship is running in a particular water so there is no change in that range of environment and therefore it is not needed after that war ship naval ship or auxiliary ship operated by the state also not required to have ballast water convention ship of a party which only operate in water under jurisdiction of another party subjected to authorization of the latter for such excursion okay means it is the understanding between the two state that okay we don't need because our ecological environment is same so in that case it may be excluded for example suppose if the ship is moving from india to sri lanka at that time because a coastal reason is not in so different so it can be avoided ship which only operate in water under the jurisdiction of one party on the high sea so this is how this ballast water convention does not apply to this condition so through this first video basically i want to make you aware that why the ballast water convention was needed i hope i have given sufficient information regarding that that why we need ballast water convention now in next video we will see the various regulation like d1 d2 d3 d4 and after that we will see the g8 and g9 regulation so please remain tuned i will be uploading the series of ballast water management system convention plan everything in my upcoming video thank you friend have a good day please do subscribe and please do share our video in your social and other washer platform thank you friend have a good day